we asked you this time last year if you were ready for the season. You said probably could use another week. Uh, how about this time around? I'm going to say the exact same <laughs> thing. Glad we got another week, but lo love the way the guys are going. Love the way they work. Uh, I've said this uh, a lot. They enjoy playing football. They enjoy getting out here. They enjoy being together. So that, that makes coaching the group fun. And, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to get out there with them, see them compete, see them com battle with each other. It's, been, uh, it's been, been a good camp. How close do you think you are to picking out a starting five? <laughs> uh, at this stage, we're still bouncing guys around. I mean, we've got seven or eight guys that we're working in with the first unit and, and probably six more that we're, we're working in with the, the second unit. So it's, it's still very fluid. We've seen a combination with the lead at left guard, then Braylon set on Cape at right guard. What do you like about that alignment that's uh, sort of been what you've been using? I, I think you, you always like guys who, who are athletic, guys who uh, you know, have the ability to recover on things. Um, on, on the other end of things, you also like guys that have been playing in positions for a while. So, you know, that game experience, you, you, can't, you can't trade that. So um, there, there's a lot of different things that we're looking at for a lot of different reasons. And, uh, you know, it, obviously it's going to play out here in the next, uh, next several days, but uh, we're, we're still bouncing guys around and looking. Do you like late that that guard spot versus tackles or something? Uh, I, I don't know if I'd say I like him more at guard than tackle. I, I like that he's athletic. He's, I mean, he, he moves sometimes with, with – with, his foot movement that's really impressive. Um, that's great at, at left tackle. That's critical at left tackle. Um, so, I, you know, it, it's it's how does the best, the, the, the five that, that gels the best, how do they work together? How crucial have the reps been for Braylon Moore at center since the camp started? Um, it, I mean, getting a guy a chance to play that position and practice at that position, you know, again, you can't, you can't trade things like that. It's it's something that he's embraced and he's excited about. And, and again, for just moving forward, it's about okay. How how does the best five fit in, and, and where does it go from there? It's, it's good to know that we've got some some options at, at different positions. Have you gone back and watched film of Braylon, of Caden Moore and Parker Holmes together on the right side to see how they match and how that. Would you know what we did a little bit. Um, it, it was kind of in some different. Our, our offense has evolved since then, so they were doing some different things. But uh, of course, we watched to see how they how they work together on some of their their combination blocks. How many different guys do you have to snap at this point? Oh shoot! When we go out for CQ exchange, I, I think there's like seven or eight guys really? that are in there doing that. Most of the time, any time a guy comes in as a guard that we think he's going to play guard, we, we have him at least snap to learn to snap the ball. That way. Uh, you know, if we ever have to make that transition, it goes a lot smoother. Where do you got Contavious working right now? Seems like he's Good. Let, let me say, Braylon spent all last year, even though he never played it down the center, he spent all last year snapping oh, the ball okay. in that period as well. Uh, Montavious has been playing at tackle for the last uh, several days. I, I don't know, I'm trying to think of how many, but days all run together. Um, Again, we, we like him there, another long athletic guy that, that can, can do some good things on the edge. You know, again, he's played a lot at guard since he got here all spring and, and a lot during the early parts of preseason camp. So just, again, trying to evaluate where's, where's his best spot and how does he fit in the best to help us. He played a lot of tackle last year, I believe. Does he that did, yeah. factor yeah. in when you go, well, that's where his experience is? Sure, sure it does. But, uh, again, it's it's – watching and evaluating how he fits in with the other guys and where, where we need him the most. And How's Johnny Garrett look moving over to the left side? He, he looks very comfortable over there. Um, th think, and it's funny, I don't really know why, but he's been playing a lot stronger. I don't know if it's because of the move or he's finally starting to feel a little bit more comfortable, um, you know, believing in himself a little bit more. So we, we've been constantly talking to him about that. but. He, he looks like he's playing stronger over there. What stood out to you the most about the way Xavier went about his work in the offseason and his growth from the spring to now? Well, first off, coming off a, a, a little bit of a knee issue that he had, he came back, he's bigger than he's ever been, he's stronger, and he's moving better. So his his work throughout the entire offseason, the entire summer has been really, really unbelievable. He's, uh, he's put on weight, he's put on good weight. 
uh, not, not the kind that I've, I've put on over the last three months, but looks really good and is moving really well.